Nice. Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com and we're at uh, Winter NAM 2014. It's not summer yet, I wish, but we're in Anaheim. It feels summery. It feels like summer. Uh, we're talking to Andy from Taylor Guitars and Justin from Elixir Strings. You guys have a new partnership on a new set of strings. Tell us about it. You want to start, Andy? Yeah, essentially in our redevelopment of a lot of our guitars, but specifically the 800 series, on the smaller body sizes, the Grand Concert and the Grand Auditorium, I was after a different tension profile because that can really affect the way the guitar top works. I wanted a light gauge hand feel, but something with a more robust top end. So one of my favorite tricks from, from years past was combining the top two strings out of a medium gauge set with the lower four of a light gauge. Now that gets pretty close, but it wasn't quite there. So Justin, he, he came out for a visit and I was telling him, regaling my woes of, I need a different set of strings for these guitars can you make this set and make me a custom gate a custom 25 thousandths g to bridge the top and the low end for the balanced hand profile that i want that's cool uh Je justin you want to add anything to that or yeah so when uh, andy shared that idea of like the kind of hybrid set um, we went back and, and tried to figure out what was the ideal tension profile for, for both the Grand Concert and we found out the Grand Auditorium worked really well with this also. Um, and what we came up with was what, what Andy said, which is the top two strings from a medium gauge set, the bottom three strings from a, a light gauge set, and a 25 that, that bridges both the tone and the feel of the set. So it gives you a bold tone, a robust tone, it's articulate across the entire set, um, but it's, it also uh, it still retains that hand feel that you expect with a light gauge set of strings. It's still easy and comfortable to play, but gives you a nice big bold tone. It sounds great on the Grand Auditorium, sounds great on the Grand Concerts. It works on a lot of different guitars, honestly. Now, it occurs to me as a player, like, it's sort of a nerdy question or whatever, but you know, a lot of players like to play light strings, but a lot of players don't, like myself included. Some, a lot of us feel like you get more sound out of a hairier, a hairier, heavier gauge, <laughs> or hairier. And, uh, but of course, you guys have to worry about, you know, a guitar has to feel easy to play or to convince people to buy it. So you have that struggle. Was part of this like, you felt like in order to really take advantage of the guitars you're selling, we'd like a little bit more tension, like you said, but we still want to make them easy to play when people pick them up in the shop? Well, naturally, if I can't play a guitar, I don't care how it sounds because I can't play it. So the guitar has to play well. It needs a consistent neck. It needs a comfortable set of strings to put on it. And of course, players, there's as many different styles of playing and players there are instruments. And every player needs to select the strings that's best for them and their instrument and their style. But for me, looking to maximize the musicality of every guitar I'm building, I wanted this custom light set of strings because that really, it, it's another refinement that I can add into the guitar's design that takes it that extra little bit to really bring out the full voice of an instrument. So it's got to be kind of a tricky line to walk because you want, you know, when people pick up a guitar in the shop, want to be able to play it easily because that Absolutely. just puts a, that... I don't know, it's just part of that whole positive first impression, but you also wanted to sound amazing, so I'm sure it was a little yeah. tricky at developing that. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the um, materials and construction? or? Sure. Yeah. And one of the other changes that we've made is on all of our Taylor guitars, we've started using phosphor bronze strings because that alloy, there's a, a rich, shimmering, kind of complex quality that I really, as a player, I've really come to admire. Now, previously, they were all being strung with? With an 80-20 alloy bronze, which is a wonderful choice for a lot of playing styles and a lot of players. But personally, I prefer the complexity of the phosphor bronze string. Okay. And they're, so these are coming on all the Grand Auditorium and Auditorium? It's all the Grand Auditorium and Grand Concert guitars. We're now stringing with this new HD light set. 
and all of the guitars, whether they're strung with the medium or the HD light, are now coming with a phosphor bronze okay. string set. Cool. What about pricing on these? So the price is the same as the retail price for, for the existing sets. Um, so no change in pricing. Um, Fifteen ninety nine, I believe, is the retail price. Okay. So they're not available strictly? Are they like co-branded? You can only get them from certain places, like Taylor dealers or anything like that? No, they're going to be available in stores uh, starting in the spring. So. Okay, cool. Starting in the spring, anywhere that Elixir strings are sold. Yeah. All right, why don't you lead us out with uh, some more playing on these great sure. strings? Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Justin. No I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com. Thank you for watching.